Over on my podcast, From John to Justin, I looked at the lives of every single Prime Minister in Canadian history, and now I'm ranking them from the worst to the best. And we're on number one, the greatest of them all, the GOAT of Prime Ministers, and it could only be one person in my mind, Lester B. Pearson. In the space of only five years, with two minority governments, from 1963 to 1968, Lester B. Pearson accomplished a lot as Prime Minister. The Nobel Peace Prize recipient would lead the country during a transformative time for Canada. During his tenure, he implemented universal health care with Tommy Douglas, the Canada Student Loan Program, the Canada Pension Plan, introduced the Order of Canada, created the Royal Commission on Bilingualism and Biculturalism, oversaw the creation of the Canadian flag, and made Canada the first country in the world to implement a points-based immigration system rather than one based on race and country of origin. He would sign the Canada-United States Automotive Agreement in 1965, resulting in unemployment falling to its lowest rate in over a decade in Canada. On top of that, he kept Canadian troops out of the Vietnam War, instituted a 40-hour work week and two-week vacation time, and launched the Royal Commission on the Status of Women. His government also started the de facto abolishment of the death penalty. He was the Canadian Newsmaker of the Year nine times, a record until it was surpassed by Pierre Trudeau in 2000. I'll end this with one amusing story about Pearson that he once outdrank Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev during a visit to the Soviet Union before he was ever Prime Minister. Consuming 18 shots of vodka and finishing with a blood alcohol level of 0.4, according to legend, after Khrushchev passed out, Pearson stood up, drank two more shots, and left. So that was Lester B. Pearson. I hope you enjoyed the list. I'm sure you agreed with some and disagreed with others, but nonetheless, I hope you'll learn something about Canada's Prime Ministers.